Hey guys, it's Patrick James from Keto Vision, and today Jess Pinkerton is going to talk to us about the different methods of checking for nutritional ketosis while on a ketogenic diet. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Jess Pinkerton with Vitality Fitness, and I'm here today to talk to you about the three different ways to test for nutritional ketosis. So the first and cheapest way is going to be the urine strips. And you can get these over the counter at the pharmacy or order them on Amazon. Um, but it's, it's very simple. You take a strip um, and you urinate on the strip and then you match up your level to the little indicator here on the side. It'll tell you anything from negative to trace, small, moderate, and large ketones present. This is not the most accurate technique. A lot of it depends on your hydration level. Um, and as your body gets really good at using the ketones, it, you may get a negative reading because you're not urinating any excess ketones out. You're actually using them. So this is a test for um, acetoacetate, which will be in your urine. All right, the second way to test is with what we call the ketonics breath analyzer. And this is testing for the ketone body acetone, which is in your breath. So you blow into this little device, which hooks up into your computer, and it will tell you your level of ketosis. This is more pricey. It's about $200, but it's a one-time purchase. So you can use it as many times as you'd like. The third method, which is really the most reliable method, um, is the blood ketone meter, okay? And this one is a Precision Extra. Um, it's made by the company Abbott, and you can order it on Amazon. Um, it's the same thing you would use for a blood glucose test, but it requires a different strip, okay? So the ketone strips are purple. They come like this in a little package of 10. Um, and what you'll need to do is with this device, you're gonna be testing for beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is the main ketone body in our blood. And it's very accurate. It's gonna tell you if you have a 0.5 millimoles per liter ketone level in your blood, you are considered in nutritional ketosis, anything 0.5 or greater. Um, so when, when you get this machine, it actually has two parts. It has the little device, and then it has, this is kind of what you put your little lancet in. So you're gonna to have to order lancets separately. These are just the actual little needles or a little picker. Uh, and this, they come in like a, a 100 pack. Um, you'll insert that in here, right into the device. You wanna set the reading at about a three. That's a good level to, to make sure you get a good poke. You're gonna untwist the top of that to expose the little sharp part. Then you're gonna put the top back on now that is ready to go. You can set that aside. Now you're ready for the meter. This is where the strips come in. Now the strips are a little bit more pricey. They're about $3 a strip, so it's not crucial to uh, test daily. You, I suggest once a week, really, for testing. You can alternate you can alternate between morning and, and evening reading. So one week you could test first thing in the morning when you wake up, the following week pick a, pick a night, and you always wanna test four hours after your last meal. So four hours after dinner would be a great time to test. So really you only need to use one of these a week. This is where the expense comes in. All right, so now I'll show you actually how to use the blood ketone meter. All right, so once you have it lined up with your finger, you're gonna press the button and then get that little droplet of blood and you're gonna put that right on the end of the strip. And then it's gonna give you a countdown for 10 seconds. So 0.8, so that's a great morning reading, so that's um, above that 0.5 millimoles per liter threshold, which means I'm in nutritional ketosis. So to discard, now all you have to do is discard your strip. You can take that out. The meter will, um, will just turn off automatically. And then you can take your little lancet out, pull that out. Um, I always put that back on so it's not gonna poke anybody in the garbage. And then you can replace the top 
and store it back in the little case that it came in and it'll be ready for next time. There's even a little pouch over here you can um, store your strips and it, it, it zips right up. Sure. All right guys, so just to sum up, I would always recommend um, testing with a blood ketone meter in order to get the most accurate result and really know if you're doing the ketogenic diet right. Um, you're going to be testing for beta hydroxybutyrate with the blood ketone meter, um, whereas with the, the strips, you're testing for the ketone body acetoacetate. It kind of goes away over time. And with the um, breath meter, you're te testing for acetone. So this is by far the accurate. It's what I always recommend people, especially when starting out the diet, to, to ensure that they're doing it correctly. That was such a great video from Jess Pinkerton at Vitality Fitness. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. As always, if you like our video, give us a like and then subscribe to our channel. And that way, you'll always get up-to-date videos on all things ketogenic. This is Patrick from KetoVision. Have a great day.